Hello, this is Compound Interest Stock Guy, and I'm just going to be rapping, so this is going to be good. It's just my opinion. Do not buy or sell based on any of this, like, lyrics. It's just my opinion. So, uh, yeah, give me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe if you're new. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to get into this. So, True's Fins get the gold. Meanwhile, CGC and Bruce fold, and I'm just holding strong on my long USA and Canadian plays like the Don Juan. Edibles concentration coming out by 2020 by then all i'm going to be smelling is money laughing in bliss never dismiss the ones you in the red with enjoy the summertime cooling in nature driving through the country loving my company's vision listening to my inner intuition is a god-given style i'm about Market makers scaring you away as they're hawking in to steal your shares it ain't fair but that's the guerrilla warfare wall street all about and you little sissies are jumping out i'm not about clout just my goals even we in summer 52 week lows it will be gold don't fold be bold all right that's what i wanted to say it's my rap uh i've been rapping for pretty much over 20 years i uh i've been making lyrics i don't do them all the time but yeah i i know how to make lyrics I had a rap name when I was uh, younger in high school and, e and when I worked at this golf course, I used to clean people's clubs and uh, the head pro used to know my name. He knew my name. Um, people in high school knew my name. <laughs> my la It ended with a G, but I'm not going to say what it started with. But yeah, I even went onto this channel, uh, this radio channel 102.3 and I was uh, <laughs> rapping. I did a rap battle with this guy MC Claudio in Vancouver and I got killed like I didn't do very good lyrics for my freestyle but I just wanted to do it I've done freestyles after that and I've done some freestyle competitions I'm I'm not really the best at freestyle battles but I do make lyrics and uh yeah it's just a, been a thing that I've been doing throughout my life just to get things off my mind you know I got my struggles in my life I'm not the most normal person so it just helps me deal with adversity. So that's kind of how I go about. And uh, I was talking to Scott Sycamore today. And um, I was, he just said, yeah, you should you should make a rap. And I said, yeah, sure, I, I guess I might. So I gave him a shout out. Yeah, I'm, I'm out. I'm out in near this marsh in close to the Alberta border. I was just at Summit Cannabis. Uh -huh. Where is it? In my pocket? No. Oh, where did I put it? Oh, right here. So this is uh, Tantalus Labs. These are pre-rolls. Half grams. Tantalus Labs is known for their high quality cannabis. So I decided to do it. I'm uh, going to be checking out to see the birds. This is a spot and scope. It's, it, it lets you see about, I think it's 15, or, or it's uh, 25 to 75, but time. So if say you're 500 feet away, then it get make you seem as though you're 20 feet away. I think that's how it goes. But uh, it doesn't work very good if you're 75 feet. It's better, if, I mean the 75 times, it's better if you're doing 40 in the middle. This has got a sweet spot. But I haven't used it in a while, but I think this would be a good place. I got my tripod right here. I'm actually using it as a as a light setup because I got some light from natural sunlight. But as well, I got a flashlight right here kind of beaming on me because <laughs> I wanted to have a little bit better light than I had last night. But, you know, I, I got pretty good reception because I'm all about good content. I'm just speaking my truth about uh, the industry. So that's the dealio. Uh, yeah, I'm out. Just wanted to talk to you guys. Hope everybody's uh, having a good day. So, in the sector, you know, True had amazing earnings, but, you know, they didn't go up today just because CGC. As I said in my lyrics, I said, meanwhile, CGC and Bruce Fold, they're going downhill. Downhill. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, they're going downhill. I'm telling you. I don't, I don't like their cash position. They, they've been burning a lot of cash. I mean, yeah, they have an amazing cash position for the sector, but yeah, uh, institutions and Wall Street's not happy. 
So that's why, yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't be buying on the way down. I have been buying stocks on the way down, and I it sucks because I didn't really think about the connection between about the earnings on on canopy growth. I guess I kind of didn't think about that, but you know their earnings aren't very good. So <sighs> yeah, I think uh, I think they're gonna go below thirty Canadian and possibly around below twenty USD. Yeah, you could potentially see canopy growth go to $25. So, uh, yeah, I think when it does go down low, down low, I think people are going to go hardcore on some call options. There's going to be a lot of volatility in the sector in the next couple weeks, I think. Before summer starts, as summer uh, kind of like slowly tapers off and it becomes September, we will see. But... I I looking at the spy too because the spy connected with the with the weed sector as well, and I'm kind of thinking that, mm, kind of thinking that it's it hit a long legged doji, so it kind of looks as though if tomorrow's a green day, a nice green day, like from red to green, that's going to be good for next week, and it may signal a big bullish uh, into the into the spy, as well as in the weed sector. So that's kind of what we got to look out for. I just want to make a short video, do my rap, and give you some info. Uh, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Shaka. Keep compounding that info. Listen to my lingo. And until next time, peace.